Hello, this is Mark. Welcome back again, and we're gonna see you again this time. Um, last night, Apple had decided to launch the latest version of the iMac. Okay, well, still slightly disappointing some in some point for some reason because at first I thought they would comes up with um, the new USB 3.0 as any of those rumor websites said, but uh, of course they didn't come with USB 3.0 port. So I'm not gonna waste your time. Uh, it's now available in, of course, pretty much the same two different sizes. I think this time Apple just released only a minor change. Okay. Um, I think the most important consideration should be the graphic cards from ATI. Okay, which is from AMD for six series and five six series and then five seven series. Uh, okay, I'm giving I'm gonna give you a very short very short short cut. I'm gonna give you just time. Firstly, do not buy the least expensive one. Even though that ATI card for 6 series comes with the um, dedicated RAMs up to 256, it will not be enough. It's going to be too old and out is very soon. For 21 inch, I would suggest you go for the top of the line. Okay, you pay slightly more. But if you want to go for the 27 inch, I would suggest you go for the top of the line. Because you won't see much difference between i3 and core 2 duo i3 is not quad core okay let me get this straight it's not quad core so i would suggest you should go for the quad core which is the i5 or i7 which is the top of the line okay and okay the new iMac comes with only five new features okay so let me clarify about them firstly you got better sound quality for the speakers slightly better you got more bass and secondly you got this time you got better SD card slot they have changed the slots to the next levels okay it has been shifted to the next level it's called SDXC card slot okay so these types of cards could host up to two terabyte it's very expensive things and thirdly this time you got slightly faster for the bus speed for the RAM first time in the history the prior one is what 1066 for the DDR3 RAMs, am I right? This time you got 1333, but in general you won't see the difference by your eyes, honestly. And uh, they have come up with very new um, gadgets and toys. Firstly, you got Apple's battery chargers. I think a number of third-party companies have been doing this 100 years ago. This is ridiculous. They want you to charge the batteries. Okay, especially those double batteries. These apples, you know, battery chargers could host up to roughly six double batteries simultaneously. Well, apart from this kind of battery chargers, you can buy any, you know, third party one, probably might be cheaper. But if you like Apple, it's fine. Okay, and secondly, this time they have comes up with the trackpad. Okay, but the trackpad for the iMac is doesn't come standards with it. Okay, it's available separately. That means you have to buy. For me, I think it's really confused though. You to get the trackpads and mount and things on your table, it might cause your table crowded all the time. So I would suggest I think don't go for the trackpad. Set your money for something else. In terms of the screen stuff, the design, or the thing, they are exactly the same. Okay exactly the same I would suggest and also the i3 one seat you know what the i3 i5 i7 i9 i10 anything eyes in the world you won't see damn things different because unless you use something called um, processors intensive application like apertures or Final Cut Pros or Mario 3d Max or things like that or you won't see any different you won't get the advantages of the turbo boost technology and hyper threading technology you still got 4 gigs of RAM, but slightly faster for the bus speed. But of course, uh, the hard drive pretty much the same. But you can order the custom drives up to 2 terabyte, but who cares about that? You got 5 or 8, probably can have up to an extra hard drive anyway. But this time, you got better graphic cards from ATI. So, to be perfectly honest, do not go for the least expensive one, which is like still like ATI's 4 6 series, because you got only 256, going to be too slow very soon. I would suggest the top of the line with 21 inch, which is um, the ATI. 5.6 okay it has more RAM 512 megabyte but you want to go for the 27 please trust me trust me as one in a lifetime do not go for the entry level go for the quad core 
Okay, that's the bottom line. Okay, for so so this time, but you pay slightly more. Who care about three U.S. dollars? Pay slightly more for each model. So, go for something slightly. I think it's a great value. You know, do one thing because this time. You know, if you want to do just regular tasks like typing documents, things like that, serve on the web, don't buy the iMac. It's waste of money. It's waste tons of money. Buy something else. Buy like Mac Mini, and you can choose your screen without the the glare that comes to your eyes. All the stuff you can choose the anti glare screen somewhere else. So the conclusion, the summarize of of this reveal is: firstly, don't buy the entry level for both sides of the screen. Whether 21 inch or 27, I would suggest to go for the top of the line for 21 inch or 27 inch. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think you got something. Okay. So lastly, five step, of course, slightly faster for the RAM or <laughs> slightly faster, 1066 up to 1333. But who cares about that? Secondly, slightly better is for the speaker, and then here comes the SD. Um, XC cards, readers, things next to the screen, and of course some funny stuff like trackpad for iMac. This time we got trackpad, but it's available separately. You have to buy this iMac trackpad available separately. For me personally, I won't buy that. I'll skip my money to something else. And lastly, of course, this time you're gonna get something called Apple battery chargers. How funny! They've been doing this a hundred years ago from other brands. Okay, thanks for watching.